the airport, uh, the Wood Ring Regional Airport, is a city uh, facility. It's run by the city. There's a separate advisory board out there that, that makes recommendations. Our director out there, Dan Onosorge, is doing a fantastic job. We've made significant uh, improvements. We just talked about some of those in Washington, D.C. with our, our federal delegation, but notably extending the runway, building the joint use hangar, building the, the apron out there that allows any type of Vance Air Force Base aircraft to come out there and stay. About a third or more of all the fuel that we sell out there is to uh, the Air Force and the Department of Defense. So we have a strong relationship with the Department of Defense. Extending the runway has certainly helped them. We get funds to do that not only through the Federal Aviation Administration but the Oklahoma Aeronautical Commission, uh, the Oklahoma Strategic Military Funding Commission, which is headed by Mike Cooper, uh, who is also our military liaison that we've hired for, uh, uh, to work these issues uh, with Vance Air Force Base and Woodring. If you have any issues there, certainly contact Dan Onosorge or myself. Or we certainly uh, will work to resolve anything. And we're very proud of what's the improvements that have been made out there, and there'll be more coming in the future. We're in the process of designing a uh, new terminal for Enid Woodring Regional Airport. We expect uh, the design to be complete by the end of January, go out for bids, and we'll break ground probably in the April timeframe and have a new terminal for this airport in January of 2019.